In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation. Who brings whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. 
It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The son of David will live forever. The son of David will live forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. The son of David will live forever. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. The son of David will live forever. He shall say of me, you are my father, my God, the rock, my savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. The son of David will live forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his, and his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith so that it may be a gift, and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants, not to those who only adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of all of us, as it is written, I have made you father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations according to what was said. Thus shall your descendants be. That is why it was credited to him as righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. 
Such was his intention, when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are in the year of St. Joseph. We are in the month of St. Joseph. And my friends, this is the day of St. Joseph. This is truly the hour of St. Joseph. What a wonderful divine convergence because we need him now more than ever. Let me tell you why. First, the family in society is falling apart and being torn apart by the devil. The devil is having a heyday on the family. There's no question there. So many children are growing up with single parents because of divorce. Many children grow up without a father or a mother, and this has lasting detrimental consequences. Secondly, the church has been hit hard recently by scandal and corruption, and therefore, she is losing credibility by her believers, and more and more people are leaving the church. Here, too, the devil is at work in order to destroy her and scatter the Lord's flock. These two fundamental pillars of society, both the family life and the church, are under siege by the enemy like never before. And the common denominator and cause of the eroding family and church has to deal with impurity. Our society is filled with all sorts of impurity and consumed with carnal passions. Everything is sexualized and perverted. Our poor children are losing their innocence sooner and sooner. And this toxic poison has infiltrated the family and the church to their detriment. So what do we do? Who do we turn to in trying times like these? We turn to God and his great servant and foster father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, St. Joseph, patron of the family and protector of the universal church, model of chastity, most pure lily, Ita ad Yosef. Go to Joseph. And so we come to St. Joseph this year and this very day asking him to intercede for us, to restore the family, and to protect the church from the snares of the devil, and to show us the way to pure and holy love. 
We have confidence in St. Joseph's prayers. He who is head of the Holy Family, who Christ is always obedient to. He who is the terror of demons. They flee in fear of his great power and purity. St. Joseph drives out the devil with his purity. And so may he drive the devil out of our families and out of the church with his pure and chaste heart. So as we honor him today, we raise our prayers up to St. Joseph, saying, Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, who was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. We pray for the Church and for all her leaders, especially Pope Francis, Bishop Matano, all priests, deacons, and religious, that they may always be protected by St. Joseph's paternal care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for every family, especially those that are broken and have been torn, that have been torn apart by sin and the devil, that St. Joseph may be there to protect them and to restore their brokenness. We pray to the Lord. We pray for ourselves that we may look to St. Joseph as our model of purity and chastity, to follow him in the way of pure and holy love. We pray to the Lord. We pray now for those intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. We unite these and all our four prayers to those of the Immaculate Blessed Virgin Mary and speak them in the name of her Son, Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We pray, O Lord, that just as St. Joseph served with loving care your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the solemnity of Saint Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you, espoused to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten son who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty 
Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis unceli et terra, gloria tua, hosanna in excelsis, benedictus qui venit et nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, for they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints, We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, And with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended. He took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, This pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace, and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who though sinners, Hope in your abundant mercies. Graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Precha pi solitaribus moniti, 
et divine institutione formati, ademus dicere. Pater noster, qui es in celis, sanctificet unomen tuum, et regniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, Sicut in cielo et in terra. Pada nostrum quotidianum, da nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra. Sicut et nos dimitimus debitaribus nostris, Et ne nos enducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Well done, good and faithful servant. Come share your master's joy.
a prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray, the family you have nourished with food from this altar as they rejoice at the solemnity of St. Joseph and graciously keep safe your gifts among them through Christ our Lord. Just one announcement after Mass today, in place of the St. Michael prayer, we will be doing, we will be praying the Litany of St. Joseph, and then after that we will all together pray the Consecration Prayer to St. Joseph as well. Thank you. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
charge of all that you own. Let us pray. O God, who in your inexpressible providence were pleased to choose St. Joseph as spouse of the most holy mother of your son, grant, we pray, that we who revere him as our protector on earth may be worthy of his heavenly intercession. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of consecration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O holy patriarch, I rejoice with you at the exalted dignity by which you were deemed worthy to act as Father to Jesus, to give him orders and to be obeyed by him whom heaven and earth obey. O great saint, as you were served by God, I too wish to be taken into your service. I choose you after Mary to be my chief advocate and protector. I promise to honor you every day by some special act of devotion and by placing myself under your daily protection. By that sweet company which Jesus and Mary gave you in your lifetime, my protect me in all of life, so that I may never separate myself. My dear St. Joseph, pray to Jesus for me. Certainly he can never refuse you anything, as he obeyed all your orders while on earth. Tell him to detach me from all creatures and from myself, to complain me with his holy love, and then do with me what he pleases. By that assistance which Jesus and Mary gave you at death, I beg of you to protect me in a special way at the hour of my death, so that dying assisted by you, in the company of Jesus and Mary, I may go to thank you in paradise, and in your company to praise my God for all eternity. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. ask that the stations tonight help bring those children closer to faith. And we'll ask Jesus as he is on his journey tonight to ask the Spirit to inflame our children. So as we should do all things in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me in the preparatory prayer. My Lord Jesus Christ, you have made this journey to die with me with unspeakable love, and I have so many times ungratefully abandoned you. But now I love you with all my heart, and because I love you, I am sincerely sorry for ever having offended you. Pardon me, my God, and permit me to accompany you on this journey. You go to die for the love of me. I want my beloved Redeemer to die for the love of you. My Jesus, I will live and die always united to you. At the cross her station keeping Stood the mournful mother her weeping Close to Jesus to the last The first station Pilate condemns Jesus to die. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Consider how Jesus Christ, after being scourged and crowned with thorns, was unjustly condemned by Pilate to die on the cross. My adorable Jesus, know my sins that condemned you to die. 
I beseech you by the merits of this sorrowful journey to assist my soul on its journey to eternity. I love you. I love you more than I love myself with all my heart. Never let me separate myself from you again and grant that I may love you always and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Through her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword has passed. The second station, Jesus accepts his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Consider how Jesus, as he walked this road with the cross on his shoulders, thinking of us and offering to his Father in our behalf the death he was about to suffer. My most beloved Jesus, I embrace all the sufferings you have destined for me until death. I beg you, by all you suffered in carrying your cross, to help me carry mine with your perfect peace and resignation. I love you, Jesus, my love and I repent of ever having offended you. Never let me separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Oh, how sad and sore distress! was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Consider the first fall of Jesus. Loss of blood from the scourging and crowning with thorns had so weakened him that he could hardly walk. And yet he had to carry that great load upon his shoulders. As the soldiers struck him cruelly, he fell several times under the heavy cross. My most beloved Jesus, it was not the weight of the cross, but the weight of my sins which made you suffer so much. By the merits of this first fall, save me from falling into mortal sin. I love you, o Jesus, with all my heart. I am sorry that I have offended you. May I never offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious Son. The fourth station Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Consider how the son met his mother on his way to Calvary. Jesus and Mary gazed at each other, and their looks became as so many arrows to wound those hearts which loved each other so tenderly. My most loving Jesus, by the pain you suffered in this meeting, grant me the grace of being truly devoted to your most holy mother. And you, my queen, who was overwhelmed with sorrow, Obtain for me by your prayers a tender and lasting remembrance of the passion of your divine Son. I love you, Jesus, above all things. I repent of ever having offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Is there one who would not weep, whelmed in misery so deep? Christ, dear Mother, to be cold. The fifth station, Simon helps carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Consider how weak and weary Jesus was. At each step he was at the point of expiring, fearing that he would die in the way when they wished him to die the infamous death of the cross. They forced Simon of Cyrene to help carry the cross after our Lord. My beloved Jesus, I will not refuse the cross as Simon did. I accept it and embrace it. I accept in particular the death that is destined for me with all the pains that may accompany it. I unite it to your death, and I offer it to you. You have died for the love of me. I will die for the love of you and to please you. Help me by your grace. I love you, Jesus, my love. I repent of ever having offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her, her pain? In that mother's pain untold, the sixth station, Veronica offers her veil to Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. 
Consider the compassion of the holy woman, Veronica. Seeing Jesus in such distress, his faith bathed in sweat and blood, she presented him with her veil. Jesus wiped his face and left upon the cloth the image of his sacred countenance. My beloved Jesus, your face was beautiful before you began this journey, but now it no longer appears beautiful and is disfigured with wounds and blood. Alas, my soul also was once beautiful when it received your grace in baptism, but I have since then disfigured it with my sins. You alone, my Redeemer, can restore it to its former beauty. Do this by the merits of your passion, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Bruised, derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender her child, all with blood. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Consider how the second fall of Jesus under his cross renews the pains and all the wounds of the head and members of our afflicted Lord. My most gentle Jesus, how many times you have forgiven me and how many times I have fallen again and begun again to offend you. By the merits of this second fall, give me the grace to persevere in your love until death. Grant that in all my temptations, I may always have recourse to you. I love you, Jesus, my love, with all my heart. I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. For the sins of his own nation saw him hang in desolation till his spirit forth me the eighth station, Jesus speaks to the women. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Consider how the women wept with compassion, seeing Jesus so distressed and dripping with blood as he walked along. Jesus said to them, Weep not so much for me, but rather for your children. My Jesus, laden with sorrows, I weep for the sins which I have committed against you, because of the punishment I deserve for them, and still more because of the displeasure they have caused you, who have loved me with an infinite love. It is your love more than the fear of hell which makes me weep for my sins. My Jesus, I love you more than myself, I am sorry that I have offended you. 
Never allow me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O sweet Mother, font of love, touch my spirit from above. Make my heart with yours a The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Consider how Jesus Christ fell for the third time. He was extremely weak, and the cruelty of his executioners was excessive. They tried to hasten his steps, though he hardly had the strength to move. My outraged Jesus, by the weakness you suffered in going to Calvary, Give me enough strength to overcome all human respect and all my evil passions which have led me to despise your friendship. I love you, Jesus, my love, with all my heart. I am sorry for ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Make me feel as you have felt. Make my heart soul to glow and melt. With the love of Christ my Lord. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Consider how Jesus was violently stripped of his clothes by his executioners. The inner garments adhered to the lacerated flesh, and the soldiers tore them off so roughly that the skin came with them. Have pity for your Savior so cruelly treated, and tell him, My innocent Jesus, by the torment you suffered in being stripped of your garments. Help me to strip myself of all the attachments for the things of earth, that I may place all my love in you, who are so worthy of my love. I love you, O Jesus, with all my heart. I am sorry for ever having offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Holy 
mother, pierce me through. In my heart each wound renew. Of my Savior crucified. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Consider Jesus, thrown down upon the cross. He stretched out his arms and offered to his eternal Father the sacrifice of his life for our salvation. They nailed his hands and feet, and then, raising the cross, left him to die in anguish. My despised Jesus, nail my heart to the cross, that it may always remain there to love you and never leave you again. I love you more than myself. I am sorry for ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let me share with you his pain, who for all our sins was slain, who for me in torment dies. The twelfth station, Jesus dies upon the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Consider your Jesus. After three hours of agony on the cross, is finally overwhelmed with suffering and abandoning himself to the weight of his body, bows his head and dies. My dying Jesus, I devoutly kiss the cross on which you would die for the love of me. I deserve, because of my sins, to die a terrible death. But your death is my hope. By the merits of your death, give us the grace by embracing your feet and burning with the love of you. I yield my soul into your hands. I love you with all my whole heart. I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Consider how, after our Lord had died, he was taken down from the cross by two of his disciples, Joseph and Nicodemus, and placed in the arms of his afflicted mother. She received him with unutterable tenderness and pressed him close. 
to her bosom. O Mother of Sorrows, for the love of your Son, accept me as your servant and pray to him for me. And you, my Redeemer, since you have died for me, allow me to love you, for I desire only you and nothing more. I love you, Jesus, my love, and I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By the cross with you to stay, there with you to weep and pray, is all I ask of you to give. The fourteenth station, Jesus is placed in the sepulcher. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Consider how the disciples carried the body of Jesus to its burial, while his mother went with them and arranged it in the sepulchre with her own hands. They then closed the tomb, and all departed. O oh, my buried Jesus, I kiss the stone that closes you in, but you gloriously did rise again on the third day. I beg you by your resurrection that I may be raised gloriously on the last day to be united with you in heaven, to praise you and to love you forever. I love you, Jesus, and I repent of ever having offended you. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Virgin of all virgins, blessed. Listen to my fond request. Let me share your grief. Please join me in the full prayer for the intercession of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the intercession of Saint Joseph, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For the children of the world, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And please join me in the prayer to Jesus Christ crucified. My good and dear Jesus, I kneel before you, asking you most earnestly to engrave upon my heart a deep and lively faith 
hope, and charity, with true repentance for my sins, and a firm resolve to make amends, as I reflect upon your five wounds and dwell upon them with deep compassion and grief, I recall, good Jesus, the words the prophet David spoke long ago concerning yourself. They have pierced my hands and my feet. They have numbered all of my bones. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful week.